Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming to our video presentation for the Digital Image Correlation System Design, Verification, and Analysis by Tyler Craft, Andrew Trong, and Matthew Rixo. Uh, here's the introduction to what you will be seeing in this presentation. Uh, team members are depicted in this slide. Uh, they are Tyler Craft, Andrew Chong, and Matthew Rixo. A quick introduction to the design of the dig Digital Image Correlation System, or DIC system as we call it. LTA Research and Exploration tasked our team with the creation of the system for our novel material testing. What it's used for is non-contacting strain measurement, as you can see uh, in that animation on the right-hand side. Uh, the purpose of this um, present, uh, the purpose of this project is to provide LTA with an accurate non-contacting strain measurement tool. Uh, it, the impact it has versus traditional methods is that it can be uh, used with less waste of material and at a cheaper cost. And this is a multifaceted project that includes many uh, different disciplines, uh, ranging from materials, electronics, mechanical testing, and component design. Looking at the problem statement, uh, our lead materials engineer wanted additional data for new materials. Uh, the complication is a professional system costs upwards of $50,000. Uh, the implication is we need to utilize some open source DIC software and in-house materials to create a working system uh, at a cheaper cost. Uh, so the position we were put in is to design uh, and supply an AS team compliant strain data our position is to supply ASTM compliant strain data via DIY system, DIY DIC system. Um, we took the current DIC system that was already being uh, made and foolproofed uh, and optimized it and validated it so it could be used on any test campaign. Uh, benefit of this is to supply ASTM compliant strain data to the lead material engineers at a fraction of the cost of a professional system. Here you can see the previous design that we took over. Uh, we drew some inspiration from this, but uh, this was only used as a proof of concept as the setup was bulky, hard to adjust, and had uh, inherent inaccuracies built into the system. Uh, so the final design that we tested with uh, had multiple requirements going in. Uh, it had to be easily movable, adjustable for different size specimens, and uh, had measurable error in the setup. So the final design makeup uh, consisted of a large fixture with coarse X, Y, and Z adjustability with a smaller head with a fine X, Y, Z, and C adjustability uh, custom and a custom four point plane measurement tool to ensure perpendicularity between the test specimen and the camera. Uh, some of the problems that we're facing are balance between adjustability and rigidity and camera selection based on price, size, and quality. We utilized multiple different manufacturing techniques. So uh, we used uh, extra 80-20 aluminum extrusions, uh, which cut down on the additional costs of the system. We used 3D printing. We also used uh, UA machine shop for uh, manufacturing of dog bone specimens. And then we used DIY methods for quick revisions to greatly improve the performance of the system when verifying it. Uh, so the, um, the, our systems have verified using three different methods. Uh, we've verified it using a laser X sensometer. Uh, we verified it using aluminum dog bone test specimens and verified it using a novel material. Looking at the conclusion, uh, we have further improved upon the previous system and results. We were able to achieve a class one X sensometer rating for our system and the objectives, um, the scope of the problem statement has been met with this design. Looking at the future work, there could be room um, for uh, making a test method to record video through glass panes for elevated temperature tests, developing a traveling kit to uh, move with the system, and then finally testing with different camera settings to optimize the data capture through the camera. Uh Thank you, LTA Research, for sponsoring this project. And thank you to our project leads, Carl Bates and David Peters, for all the direction they've given us. Any questions?